And in keeping with the peach theme today, my loves, I know you've had this happen. Your wonderful friends come over and they're so generous. They bring you a bottle of wine, but it is the worst wine that you have ever tasted. And they are so kind, you don't wanna throw it away. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make that wine into something special, sangria. Because it's summer, we've got all this wonderful fruit. Let's get started. Is this a great jar? I love this because you can, it's got like a great big opening on top, so it's easy to put all your fruit in. So let's take our wine, throw a whole bottle of wine. And I'm thinking if you have a fridge full of wine that you're not like really loving, throw it all in too. This happens to be a sweet dessert wine and that works great if you like your sangria a little bit sweeter. And now we're gonna add a little bit more color. We have got one orange sliced up. Look at how amazingly colorful this is starting to look. Throw those oranges on in. We've also got two cups of strawberries. Strawberries are in season right now. Oh, is there nothing better than the smell of fresh strawberries? Don't you think this is starting to look like art? Fruit art. So not only is it gonna taste good, it is gonna look good, and think about how you are gonna impress your guests. And of course, something that we need, something that we love, something that we're, is our theme today, peaches. Throw in those peaches. Now I've used a dessert white wine for this sangria, but you know, if you have red wine in your fridge or you've got a bottle of red wine that you just don't wanna drink, here's a little secret. If you wanna make a red sangria, in mine, I have got a half a cup of honey. And if you wanna use red wine, but you still want that sweetness, just add a little bit more honey. Let's throw that all in there. Now here's a little trick to get all those fruity flavors in your sangria. You wanna just mash it just a little bit to get all the fruit flavor out. Mash up that fruit. My secret ingredients. Sometimes it doesn't get in because it tastes so good that I can't have a sip of it. This is peach liqueur. It's a little sweet and it just gives you that extra flavor. Throw that in. Give it about two more mashes. You want to put the lid on. And the key to any great sangria is to let the fruit sit. So you want to let this sit at room temperature from two to four hours, depending on how much fruit flavor you like in your sangria. And then you want to refrigerate it, serve it over ice, and impress your guests with your know-how and knowledge about sangria. Remember, all our recipes are available on our website at gocurvy.com.